Hello, I'm Peter Fatty, co-founder and chief science officer of GameSense Sports. This five-minute technical report covers video occlusion, how we use this method for testing and training pitch recognition, how it grew out of sports science research, and some research using the method and showing just how much an already high-level hitter can improve. So the, the method here as it's being used in test, testing is, is pretty simple. You show a batter's view, in this case a right-handed batter's view, of a pitcher. Pitches are cut off, sometimes showing as much of a third of the ball flight, sometimes showing less than that. And the, uh, the player taking the test uh, anticipates the ball or strike and identifies what type of pitch is being thrown. And in this way, we're able to make a score that can be compared to uh, scores of other players who have tested that. Here in the, uh, the, the hardest condition, um, right out of the hand, and trying to determine, of course, no location, but simply where is that, or what kind of pitch is that. Now, we take the same method, the same video occlusion method, and now use it for training. Same thing with cutoff pitches, but now the player gets instant feedback and a replay showing the entire shape of the pitch. And put that into a very convenient form on computer and especially on iPhone or iPad, and you're able to make that something that's a regular training tool. Now, this goes back to my research lab in around 2000 at, uh, here at Indiana University, Purdue University in Indianapolis. We had some Purdue pitchers on this uh, first version, courtesy of Carol Bruggeman, and uh, that's actually one of her former players who's, who's running the uh, testing session. And uh, then I took that down to SIU with me. And now we're talking about 2005 here, part of the, the, the research on this. And it's not product R&D. This is, this is academic research. This is reported in the journal's research. Well, in this case, uh, we had some off-season training with some Southern Illinois uh, players. And um, here's what we got from that. Now, this is, not a, uh, this is not a big group. This is one player, our subject, S, along with a control group, three other players. And I'll, I'll tell you about that in a second. But our subject had been a three-year starter with a modest um, a batting production, slash line of 218, 318, 346. She was a mainstay in the lineup because of a tremendous defensive center fielder, a lot of speed, terror on the base paths sort of player. But after an off-season's work with the training, her senior season, she improved to 284 with the batting average, almost a, a third improvement, improved on base, and improved a lot in slugging percentage in particular. Now, we see those types of improvements, and you can see improvements from year to year with ball players all the time, even dramatic ones. What's so unique about this situation is that there was a control group of three other players who, just like our subject, right-handed, regular hitters, no slappers, and all of them four-year starters, right in the same group. Uh, they hit three, four, five, six in the in the lineup with our subject uh, pulling up the uh, the trolley on that, hitting number six. You can see with them a, a more consistent baseline freshman, sophomore, junior years of 242, three. 51, 440, and then in the senior year, what you expect. 10 to 15% improvement, a very solid 276, 381, 483 uh, line. So that's what you expect. And what we see with our subject then is improvement beyond expectation. And that's when you start feeling like maybe your training had something to do with it. In particular, the 77%, not 77 points of slugging, but 77% uh, improvement in slugging, almost doubling back. And, 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 and in fact, this hitter tied for the Ohio Valley Conference lead in the 2005 season in home runs, led the league in runs batting, batted in, made first team uh, all conference, and led her team to first place in a 24 and 3 uh, record. Uh, Maria D'Amico, certainly on one of uh, uh, Coach Kerry Blaylock's best teams. In 2005. Now, why would we pull out this old research? Only to remind you that this is not research that was done to validate the test, the um, testing and training products that we made. This is why we made the testing and training products. We had the solid model from 20 years uh, previous to 2000, starting in actually into the 70s, of video occlusion in the science laboratory, 
had my own research with that over, over several years, um, very stringent. And only when we were satisfied that this could have that kind of role in developing a player did we go ahead and take that uh, to developing the products that are in front of you today as uh, game sense testing and training. So again, in this short um, technical report, I want to uh, really be able to explain this video occlusion method, how it comes from the research, how it can be used for testing, which is very important, test, retest, and training, and can lead to improvements in performance. Thank you very much.